八。That's how I view art. Art really is some sort of a conflict. When I paint a stretched canvas and I push the brush into it, it's like fencing. It's like sword fighting. It's like punching. I hit the surface of the canvas, and the canvas gives and bounces back. So there's something very physical about it. Paper is a very different beast because the paper responds, and you have to. It's more like Tai Chi. So the paper is a, a, when I switch from a, a stretch canvas and I'm punching and jabbing to the paper, where I have to be very delicate and the motions have to push more fluidly. It keeps me on my toes. I actually like that and, and enjoy bouncing around from the different mediums. Forbidden city, ravaged by time, neglect, and looters, nonetheless draws tourists, mostly Chinese tourists, to a long ago rejected aura of aristocracy. Generation of soldiers standing guard outside of the forbidden city, the violent uprisings of the Cultural Revolution, and the delayed backlash of Tiananmen Square, 1989, are not even a blip on their radar. I see this painting that I did, stimulated, inspired by Beijing. I'm there. I, I feel the air. And、um, six months from now, two years from now, ten years from now, if I look at that painting, those things will stir up in me again. I'll remember the sensation of it. I'll remember. I'll say, "Oh wow, this painting really makes me think of Beijing." But I won't say, "Oh, I did that." And, and puff up and take the sort of pride of ownership. I, I feel like a a medium for these sensations and experience.
having attempted to engage myself fully to enter deeply, I found myself at the end of my trip, needing to disengage, to withdraw, to exit lightly without a conspicuous trace, nonetheless drawing my own conclusions and being left with more questions than answers about China. <laughs>